Hey guys, this is Martin again. <clears throat> Welcome back to our mini series around verb extensions. And today extension is something called authorize. Um, authorize extension basically is extremely useful when it comes to um, hunting for IDORs, right? So in the BAP store, you will see there is the authorize extension and it's super easy to use and it's, it's extremely useful as well if you have like cryptic IDs and uh, geo IDs and things like that. And I'm going to sh give you a very little demo how this works. Like you just install the plugin and then authorize basically pops up here, right? And so how to use it is basically assuming and this is not going to work in this case because this is a CSRF lab from Portsrigger, but but uh, I think you, you get my point and um, what I'm going to demonstrate. So basically you log in with two different user accounts, right? So say this is a shopping website, so you have account A and then you have account B. And we just log in. So this could be like Airbnb or Amazon or whatever, right? And what's happening is if we go to our proxy history, you can see there's two color codes. One is green is user A and red is user B. And so basically what I'm going to do is I take the cookie. I take the cookie of the second account. Um, these accounts are equally privileged, right? Because they're both user accounts. But what you normally do is you select an account, like, like say an administrator or a manager account, which is a higher privileged account, and let's call this account A. And then you have a lower privileged account, which is called account B, right? And then you take the cookie of the lower privileged account, like, like so here, and go to authorize and basically put it in here, right? So put the cookie in here, cookie session blah 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 it's very small in, in in this case right and then you're you're basically set then you simply turn authorize on and now what's going to happen you go to account a back to your, your account a which is the higher privileged user or like in in our case the green user right and you start browsing and what authorize is doing it will send a regular request and it will also send a modified request with user b cookie and this is how it's going to look like. So I'm back in my browser A, right? And then now I'm simply going to go to home, my account, change the email address, um, perform perform actions here, right? Like, and then go back to my account. And then I come back over to authorize. And then I basically will see um, the problems or not problems. Like, for example, there's a get request to to the main URL. That's not necessarily a bad thing. So it says like is enforced, um, authorized and unauthorized status. Well, basically anyone can probably browse to, to that website. So this shouldn't shouldn't be any any specific. What I see immediately is that it looks enforced like with with all the other requests. So for example, if I do a my account Vina, the other account um, could not access this, right? So um, but what I see here, there's a bypass for unauthorized. And I don't know if this is intentional, but basically that means that post request I sent was successful or auth authorized thinks it was successful for an unauthenticated user. This is something to investigate further. Um, you could do this, but basically just just for, for you to, to, to get a feeling like how this how this whole thing works is you send the original request to repeater and then you send the modified request to repeater and then you basically can can see this is the original session id right from the from the green user and then here is the changed session id from the red user and forget these two client ip and things like that this is from another extension but basically it sends two requests and then based on that you often encounter idors and you know, generic access control problems between levels and stuff. So authorize is super useful and check it out. It's free and I hope this makes sense and I see you in the next video.